。突如其来一声轰然巨响，并不是有什么东西爆炸，而是超音速飞机留下来的痕迹。When an aircraft goes supersonic faster than the speed of sound, it creates shock waves. When I heard a sonic boom for the first time, I finally understood why it was such a big deal. If something's traveling supersonically, you can see it coming, but you won't hear it at all until it's already past you. 当飞机移动的比声音的速度还要快，就会形成冲击波，因此发出巨大的音爆。Just like a boat, when the boat is moving, you get the wake coming off of of it, and it is with it the entire time it's traveling. Um, similarly, for a supersonic aircraft, the shock waves come off the aircraft and travel to the ground the entire time it's flying supersonic. 音爆不止声音大的吓人，还有可能损害建筑，因此飞行上就有很大的限制。也因此，协和号客机尽管横空出世，成为奢华飞行的代名词，但还是在两千零三年黯然退出航空产业。But it was only able to fly over the ocean, supersonic. So you could do London to New York, but you had to slow down before you got to New York and be subsonic. So the routes were very limited. 但人类快速飞行的梦想并没有就此画下句点。美国太空总署携手洛克希德马丁，经过几十年的研究，推出一款低音爆的飞机 X 五十九。It's designed to go supersonic without making the loud sonic boom that that we've. Been accustomed to hearing for decades now. 超长的机鼻就占了整体的三分之一，就是利用长线条又平滑的外形来限制超音速飞机产生的音爆。The engine is above the wing, and that's so that the shock wave from the engine isn't able to go down to the ground. It just goes up. It is still audible, like a quiet thump, and most people, if they hear it, won't even notice it. Something that would kind of blend into your everyday life. 透过空气力学，专家把音爆的音量降低到跟关车门差不多。但要达到这样的效果，飞机就要做出大幅度的改善。最前方的挡风玻璃将因此消失。Looking out the front of the airplane, the pilot can't see anything naturally and relies completely on a system called XVS or the External Vision System, which was developed by NASA. It's a new technology that uses ultra high definition cameras and monitors. To give the pilot a view out the front. This plane will be flying in the spring to collect the sound data. NASA can take that data and then be able to present that to the regulatory authorities to actually repeal the overland supersonic limitations or laws that we have today. NASA is actively working to solve the overland supersonic limitations problem. It's not just that it can be used for high-speed flight, but it can also be used for fast flight. In the future, it will have the potential to exceed expectations. TVBS News.